TikTok has been in the news quite a bit lately and not for the best of reasons. What has generated the controversy around this popular app and what might people want to do as a result? With us here to talk about that, Rich Brooks from Flight New Media in Portland, our tech guy. Thanks for coming in. Pleasure to be so here. So for people who aren't familiar with TikTok just in general, what is it? How does it work? So TikTok is a video sharing app, which basically means that you can upload videos and other people can watch them. If you're a creator, you can create a video in the app or outside of it and import it and then add music and video effects to it. If you're a user, you've got the app on your phone and you can just scroll through a seemingly endless amount of video. Uh, and one of the things about TikTok is that it skews young. So it has a younger demographic. And like other apps that do, like Instagram, unfortunately it's been tied to some self-esteem and mental health issues in young people and especially in young women. Those are not the only troubling issues that have arisen from TikTok. There have been calls for a ban, a government ban mm. on TikTok, and there have been certain state governments that have said they're not going to let their employees, and even the federal government talked about this, not letting employees use phones, use devices that have TikTok. What's going on with that? Yeah, so TikTok is owned by a Chinese company, and obviously the relationships between China and U.S. are not great right now with the Chinese weather slash surveillance balloon that was shot down. Um, there's concern that the company that's, that owns TikTok is not necessarily as independent as they like to claim from the Chinese government. So like you were saying, there's state governments, there's, there's government agencies that have basically banned TikTok outright, stating that's a security threat. And there's a bipartisan bill, or a bill with bipartisan support going through Congress right now that basically would allow the government to limit business from Country, from companies that are from countries that we have an adversarial relationship with. So basically that means Biden could choose to either force TikTok to be sold to an American company or shut it down entirely. And I, I think I wasn't clear in the way I posed that question is that for instance, state governments have said that their employees cannot have TikTok on their state devices. Correct. So it's not an Correct. outright ban. Yes. So TikTok is, I mean, it's most popular for things like dance videos and you know, fun stuff, but there are people who use it to deliver political messages. If there are bans that are starting to take effect, does that get into First Amendment issues and, and, and illegal curbing of people's right to express their views? Yeah, it's a great question, and a lot of legal experts believe that that's actually the case. And that's why Trump, who famously hated TikTok, never was able to really get it banned. Uh, there is another thought process out there, though, that there are plenty of other platforms, social media and otherwise, where these people can express their political opinions. So, you know, it'll really come down to what do the courts decide when this actually, when the rubber hits the road. So if, if these bans become more widespread and we see more of this, then where will people go? Where do they then migrate if TikTok is basically kind of taken away. Yeah, so creators, well, TikTok was so pop, is so popular that other platforms basically mimicked a lot of what it does. So Meta, that owns Facebook and Instagram, created something called Reels, a look-alike product. Uh, YouTube, owned by Google, created Shorts, again, very much just stealing from their playbook. And even Twitter has created some TikTok-like experiences on their platform. So if it really does shut down, there will be plenty of other places for creators to go to. And also keep in mind that it's not gonna disappear off people's phones immediately, and there are millions of people who have it on their phones. But if the government can stop upgrades from happening and new people from downloading the app, then over time, people will move away from the platform because creators want audiences, and they'll move to one of those other platforms that I mentioned, or even one that hasn't even hit the market yet. Because TikTok is so popular, it can be very effective for marketing. A lot of businesses are using it in that way. You, in your business, Flight New Media, work with customers who are trying to figure out how to market their products and services. What are you telling your clients who use TikTok? What should they do? Yeah, well, I would say if you are using TikTok successfully in your business, you built up an audience, then absolutely keep using it as long as you can. If you've never used TikTok, now is probably not the right time to start investing time and money. The only exception to the rule would be is if you do a lot of business with the government or with the armed forces, especially if you do something that might be a little bit sensitive, now is probably the best time to start looking at alternatives to TikTok, maybe by an American-owned company. All right, we will leave it there. Rich Brooks from Flight New Media in Portland, thank you so much as always. And stay with us. We're going to be back with more of 207 in just a moment.